So, surprise, surprise, I'm not dead. But it has been a very long couple of weeks. If you weren't notified of the update video that I posted because YouTube is run by monkeys on caffeine drips, I had a very small computer problem made into a very big issue by a very, very stupid computer repairman. I figured I'd be in as transparent as possible and tell you guys the whole story, as well as the how the aftermath is gonna affect my uploading schedule. My laptop had this issue where when you booted it up, it would turn itself off and back on again. Sounds like a simple power supply issue, I'm not really a computer aficionado, but that's just my take on it. Either way, I didn't want to risk ruining it by trying to fix it myself, because I'm really not as computer illiterate as most people think I am. So I took it to this small shop that I've gone to for years, and know the repairman fairly well, to the point where, like, he, we know each other's names. Uh, he's been really, really good to me and my family. He's always managed to find out what was wrong with whatever we brought him, and fixed it for crazy affordable prices. Which made it all the sadder when I enter the shop and discover that he's back on active duty in the military. But, oh well, what can you do besides trust the guy who's in his place to be a decent, competent human being who deserves the job of computer and cell phone repairman? That was my fucking mistake, apparently. I fill out the form he gives me and leave him to his work. Later that evening, he calls me up and says two things that immediately raise some suspicion. He says that, one, my hard drive is shot, and two, my computer has a virus capable of destroying my operating system, though it hasn't yet. I ask him if he's positive about this, and uh, and is this really related to, a, to an issue as simple, uh, and as simple as my computer turns off and then turns on again when you start it up, and he says yes. I try to give the guy the benefit of the doubt. That, unfortunately, is mistake number two. After about half a week, he calls me and says it's done. Great. I ask him if he's sure he fixed the problem I brought it there for, and he says he's positive. He even booted it up and saw for himself. So we go, we pick it up, we bring it back home. And if the fact that I've been gone for over two weeks hasn't given away what happens next, Oh boy, buckle up. I start it up to see it still turns itself off and on again. Well, fuck. I guess I'll have to call him and complain. But just as soon as I get to the login screen so I can shut it down properly, because basically shutting down your computer just by holding down the power button too many times can actually be really bad for it. Uh, but unfortunately it doesn't stop there. Before I even get to the login screen, the screen begins to glitch up. White and pink lines start stretching across it, and across it and render a lot of the text unreadable, and then the entire screen becomes covered in this like glitchy pink and white border. At this point, I figure I may as well put in my login event information to see what else this jackass has done to my baby. I log in, and I notice that, uh, hey, this isn't the UI I'm used to. <sighs> this motherfucker, without asking me and getting my consent, installed Windows fucking 10 on my computer. If you're not too savvy with operating systems, or, I don't know, maybe you've been more of a Mac or Linux person your whole life, Windows is widely hated and for good reason. If you're a fan of Windows 10, I I cannot fucking perceive why, but just whatever you do you, the point is I fucking hate this operating system and I want nothing to do with it. I haven't upgraded for a reason. So and then th th that wasn't even the last bit. The last straw happened when I tried to connect to the internet, internet and my laptop began, I shit you not, vibrating. Like, yeah, some la laptops emit, like, a soft hum when they're running, but this laptop that usually ran pretty quietly in all the years that I ran it, uh, is vibrating so loudly it sounds like you put a back massager against a hardwood floor and just left it running there. I let my family know when, being stingy, they are about as pissed as I am because we basically paid this guy 186 US dollars just for him to fuck up my computer even further. 
So I call the guy and, as civilly as possible, let him know what happened. And, uh, while on the phone with him, I asked him why he installed Windows 10 without asking me, and he sounded like he was intentionally mumbling as incoherently as possible, so all I get is a hard drive. I try to press the matter further, but he just dances around the issue, and the more I ask, the clearer it is that the MIT in this, guy, in this guy's degree stands for Maybe I Tried. He blames the off-and-on-again power issue on me having a faulty charger. I tell him that this can't be the case because the problem persists even when it isn't plugged in. He just tells me to bring it over and he'll look at it again, free of charge. and. Naturally, I'm a bit terrified of doing so, because if we paid him and he fucked up this badly, what's gonna happen when we're not paying him? Sadly, because my dad is kind of an asshole, to put it lightly, he insists that we go back anyway and leave it there. And uh, while we're there, I decide to ask the guy a second time why he installed Windows 10 without my permission, because he can't exactly mumble under his breath and possibly pass it off as shitty phone reception. He tells me that the drivers on my computer weren't compatible with Windows 8, which is absolute bullshit, to say the least. This laptop came with Windows 8 installed on it, and if the drivers weren't compatible with it in the four to five ish years that I've owned it, I probably would have fucking noticed. And if you guys have seen any of my videos, y'all know that I can be pretty damn oblivious. And I tell him this, and lo and behold, he just starts dancing around the issue again. Oh, but we recommend Windows 10. It's so fast and secure, he tells me. And I ask him if he uses it, and he says, I'm not even kidding here, oh no, I use Mac. At this point, I just tell him to fix my computer and put Windows 8 back on it, being a bit more thorough in when when he gives me the form to fill out, uh, because they have you like list all of the issues that you're having and stuff like that, and just leave him to it, I guess. I get a call from the guy the next day with news that I have to force myself from. Uh, to not give him a big ol' are you fucking kidding me? He says that the problem is that it's because my fan is burned out. I tell him that, as politely as possible, that sounds wrong. That this sounds pretty clearly like a power supply issue. And to prioritize fixing that, he just says, okay, but he's still going to order the part to fix my fan. Cue the update video I posted about a week back, and every time I call him for an update, he just he just postpones it with the part will be in tomorrow. He's said this for about five days in a row. He just every day, just like it'll be in tomorrow, and once that's done, I'll have it fixed within the day. Finally, finally, he calls me and says that it's ready. I ask this bumbling fuckatron if he is absolutely sure that he has fixed the problem that I, that I originally brought it there for. Does it still turn off and on again when you boot it up? He says he is positive, but he is still pretty sure that my charger is just shit. Okay, I guess. Fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me, and all that. Shame on me indeed. I, like, I even, like, go out of my way to boot it up in the shop to see if it behaves or not. Lo and behold, it behaves just fine, though he, in he explains that any programs I had installed couldn't be salvaged. Okay, that's fine, I guess. I guess that means I'm gonna be busy once I get home, but whatever. So we take it home, all's good, we're all so happy that we even just like get something to snack on on the way home. I'm just happy to have this thing back. I, when we, I, I get home, I take it to my room and boot it up and it turns off and on again. Son of a bitch. So when, when one of my family members pokes their head in my door and they're just like, hey, is it working? I have to unfortunately 
Like, they, they can already tell from the look on my face, but I have to tell them, no, it's not. And at this point, the three of us, the three of us who live in this house are just 110% done with this guy and this shop's shit, because it was a, just, the basically, we're stingy, but my family thinks that, you know, just like, I shouldn't go without a computer just because of something that was completely out of my hands. So, basically, they just ask me, can you make the one you have last until Christmas? And, well, I can only promise that I'll try. So, that leads us here, right now, as I'm recording this with the sole moral being, if you're in Texas and you need your shit fixed, absolutely do not use champion computers. And the only ac thing accomplished being a slightly better factory reset. I gotta try and make this thing last until Christmas because we are, unfortunately, pretty poor. I mean, we have a roof over our heads, we have food to eat, but... None of it, none of it is really great. Either way, basically, the new laptop is probably going to be used, but that's fine since all the new ones are basically going to shove Windows 10 down your throat. Uh, but my petty bitching aside, a question that most of you are probably wondering is, is this going to affect your upload schedule? The answer to that is... maybe. I'm gonna try and get what I can done, get episodes of Arya's story out consistently until I can get the new computer set up, and if my old one dies out before Christmas, well, expect a shitty quality video filmed on my tablet about it. I know you're probably sick of hearing your favorite YouTubers plug their social media, but it really would behoove you to like follow me on Twitter or, or Facebook. I usually suggest Tumblr too, but that site is practically on its deathbed with the most recent out and with the most recent announcements about it. And YouTube is so ungodly awful about notifying about notifying its users about like their favorite content creators that, they're, that they've subscribed to and they're so convinced that they're in the right that it probably isn't gonna change anytime soon so social media really is the best way to get updated unless you're willing to check a channel several times a day and finally I want to thank everybody who didn't leave during this bump in the road the channel really has been slowly dying, and I've been doing my best to keep it afloat, but, well, YouTube seems to be out for the blood of smaller creators, especially smaller creators who can't upload every day. So the support y'all give this channel means a lot to me, and the comments that I read on the last update video really cheered me up during this time where it really seems like the world just wants to kick me while I'm down. So, Thanks, everyone. I really mean it. And everything will be back to normal as quickly as I can get it there. I'll see you guys soon with another episode of Arya's Story, and take care.